What's up? It's your boy ODAJT in the entertainment capital of the world, 702 Las Vegas. Make some noise, y'all. We got the legend Awkward's in the building. Where is that? Where is that? I'm in a different area every time. Everybody out there, hold it down. Block, nigga. Block. He's the headliner at the after party at Daddy Max. Right after the battles are done. So everybody head over there to Daddy Max. This next battle is a money battle. Standing to my left, we got Gotti. Make some noise for Gotti, y'all. And standing to my right, we got the owner of Good Top Hat Shop. Make some noise for Jeannie, y'all. Show the love. For round one in the ring, girls, show Candy yeah. some love. Yeah. All right, Gotti, you got six. Yo. Listen, Ursula, you're full for the dogs, so I'm going to call you Beneful. And I won't hesitate to grab him by his flea-infested tentacles and pull his head between his thighs until he's inhaling his own testicles. You're the type that always ate your cake but said fuck no to vegetables. And got a fetish for gravy smothered and covered over fat transsexuals. And yo, fuck fitness. You need to put hot bars at the top of your wish list instead of the same old fit shit. Y'all wanna know what Jeannie's number one wish is? Is that bath time stops being the only time that he can feel wetness on his dick tip. See, daddy so fast he ain't seen his dick in months and that brought me to tears. Just started thinking about Jeannie and said, fuck, you ain't seen your dick in years. And as for this rap shit, you're never gonna go far. Unless OD changes the name from A-H-A-T to what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> And you need to step your game up before I get on my CC Sabathia tip and start hitting you in the face with change-ups. Cause you're far from intelligent. Your bars aren't irrelevant. And either way it goes, you take shits like an elephant. All them fat jokes. Yeah, I'm a fat nigga. But ask your bitch, I get busy. You just whack, nigga. Pink and pudgy like Miss Piggy. For you, Gotti, I'll send niggas through on a Ducati with two shotties. They let go three. Now OD, gotta get you a new body. The boy Gotti, he barely tougher than a dike. If I snuff him with the right, you can chuck him in good night. <laughs> then I'll probably chop his body up and stuff it in my mic. It's nothing if I write. But I freestyle for Eon. And you just are Kelly Young, bitch. Here to get peed on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want another level with this. Yeah. If the metal go click, you gonna need some medical shit. Yeah. Cause when the trouble starts, I'm aiming them double darts. And knock the chin strap off this wannabe Bubba Spark. trying to get the money he spent on his lunch back. <laughs> you know you're not in the streets, Jeannie, every night, day, and weekend, because the last time you was in the streets, you left shook, broke, and beaten. And you couldn't handle the rusty trigger, and you got clapped quick by the blackest ratchet in A-Hat's cabinet. Ooh. So when I see your picture on the rampage, I'm like, oh, D, what the fuck's up with that shit? Okay. Then you got lost in Z's illusions, till you woke up lost days and confused it, you realized you was internally bruising from the amount of gummy bears you was consuming. <laughs> When Cooley popping left you ruined, I hope my bars ain't confusing. Cause you can read between the lines a thousand times, and every time they say Genie's losing. Mm, Genie to God. You gotta be kidding me, son. It's fake gods like you to make Donnie Minnis stop believing in one. <laughs> yeah, I'm Italian. I'm Italian. I need spaghetti with meat sauce. But so does your bitch. Your favorite dish is sausage and meatballs. I'm killing this fat fuck. And I'm saying it proudly. I leave him dehydrated in the hottest alley in the middle of Death Valley on a day it's 128 and not cloudy. Oh, I mean, who the fuck eats lunch twice and says it proudly? Yeah. You fucking overgrown 
Huxtable, never said no to a Lunchable, yeah. looking at the ugliest bitch in the room like she's untouchable. <laughs> And your bitch sucks crazy dick, so we call it home banana head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time, time, nice and much. Come on. Nice and much. When my great great grandfather say, boy, get on the boat, that's part of an expression. But when your great great grandfather say, boy, get on the boat, that's part of his profession. Yeah. <laughs> you see, in my hood, it's bags of beans and EBT. Okay. But in your hood, it's beanbag chairs and DVD. <laughs> see, where I'm from, it was NWA and all black attire. But where you from, it was cowboy boots and Reba McIntyre. Who's <laughs> oh, so whack you should retire? And I'm not trying to be mean. Okay. But Gotti wanna be black so bad, he dressed up like an albino. Every Halloween. And his bitch got a fetish for dark skin and big dicks. And this prick act like he can't see that his kids mixed. Hip <laughs> shit, you so astonishingly wet. His bitch keep promising me that. If I don't let her win around, she's down for fondling my set. And you know I'm with that. So every verse is just a slaughter, but the way she work her lips, you shouldn't let her kiss your daughter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. All right, time, time, make some noise, make some noise. All right, Billionaire Dream, the battle between Gotti and Jeannie, who you got and why? I'm going to roll with Gotti on this one here. Gotti had the, the stronger, he had more punch lines in there. They landed in them, so, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> judges in the fight, who landed the most fucking hits? Gotti landed the most hits. They was both dope. Got it. Okay, for sure. All right. All right, between Jeannie and Gotti, who you got? Um, I thought it was a real good battle. I think both of them brung it, brung it, brung it. Uh, the way I feel, honestly, I'm just, I'm just, not. I don't feel like, uh, I got it, got it edge right now, but I don't feel like it was enough to take it, so I think it should go number two. Okay. All right, awkward. It's a battle between Jeannie Gotti and Candy and all his body. No. <laughs> That's what I was watching. Yeah, yeah, but in the battle between Jeannie and Gotti, who you got and why? No, honestly, um, yeah. it was a dope battle, and as much as I like to take it to OT, like, I, I hate to be that guy that gives it an unnecessary OT. I felt like Gotti edged the first and the second round by just a little bit, but Jeannie's first was crazy, but I feel like he just had a little bit of an edge in, in both rounds, so. I gotta give it to Gotti. That second round was really as fuck. Okay. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, for sure. All right, the judges deliberated, and in the battle between Jenny and Gotti, it was two to one. And the winner is Gotti. Show him some love.